And welcome to the very first episode of Jeopardy! We now welcome to the stage a ravishing man who most definitely wasn't stalked and forced to be our host. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Alan Turtleneck! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Creepy Narrator Guy. Today, we welcome a rather loopy family all the way from Alabama. It's the James family. Come on, guys, and make them feel welcome. <laughs> now let's get this started, shall we? Let's begin with the cute old granny with the pomeranian on her head. What's your name, ma'am? Well, aren't you just as sweet as molasses? My name is Mabel, and what I- What a cute old lady. And you? That girl who just had to wear Uggs and demand we bring her Starbucks? Well, I'm Becca, which is short for you better Beck out my face or else. Oh, joy. And you, miss? I'm Stephanie, but since I married Becca's husband, her daughter calls me mommy. I literally do not care. If I did, I would have asked. Anyway, what about you, sir? You look... normal? Uh, thanks. I'm Lee, Becca's husband. Simple, sweet. Now the children. Ooh, ooh, me first. Oh my god, Sally, it's not always about you. Yeah, it's all about me. Stephanie. I'm Sally James, and I am seven, and I like puppies and the balloons. God, your daughter is so annoying. Don't talk about my daughter and your niece slash stepdaughter like that. Ladies, ladies, calm down so we can continue. And who's this fine little fellow? Hey, I'm little Bobby. He used to be Robin. Then I became a star. Well, it's not every day you meet a SoundCloud rapper. Now to continue... Hey, who are you? Hi, my name is Stacy, and... Yeah, no one knows who you are, so uh, get lost. Oh, you don't remember? I'm, uh... Oh, I'm your cousin. There isn't a shirt of white in my entire family tree. Except for your wife. Well, yeah, I guess, but... I saw her follow us from the car. Let her stay, or else I'll tell my internet friends about you and you'll get a zero on Rotten Potatoes. Great. Only July and we already have a snowflake. Well, let's get on with the show. Basically, because we're running out of time, there are five categories into each one five questions, each ranging from 100 to 500 points. Here are your categories. Family secrets, affairs, long lost family, family relations, and jail. Let's begin with the little old lady, Mabel. And don't forget to state your answer in the form of a question. Oh, well, I think I'll choose family relations for... Oh, nervous. <laughs> Let's go with a hundred. Blank is the name of Stephanie's current husband and Becca's first husband. I'm sorry. What? Look, sweetie, I'm honored you dedicated a question to me, but that's not okay. Uh, unless you're answering, please be quiet. Okay. Who's Kyle? Correct. Choose another question. Hey, this is kind of fun. Family secrets for 100, if you will. Mr. Handsome. Oh, please. Mr. Handsome was my father. He and my mother were both living examples of an oxymoron. Anyhow, who is the father of Becca and Stephanie James? Oh, that's easy. Who is Robert Howell? Incorrect. The answer is Freddie Williams. What even? Who would have the heart to lie to a child about who their real parents are? Next question. Becca, you're up. Ugh, fine. Family secrets for 200. <laughs> oh, the irony. Who were the real parents of Lil Bobby? Ma, what's the weird man talking about? Obviously, Lee and I. Form of a question, Who please. Who is Lee and I? Incorrect. I actually have the answers right in this little envelope. Should I open it? Wait a minute. Lil Bobby's mine. Is he really, Lee? Honey, Becca said the same thing about Kyle. Look what happened. Stephanie, shut your mouth. The moths are escaping. Besides, he's the only child to have left that has a future. His mother acts like a teenage girl. I'm pretty sure he's going nowhere. Hey! For the love of God, just open the envelope. I haven't seen this much tension in a room since my cousin found out his girlfriend has his own cousin. No relation. That's disgusting. Anyway, the parents of little Bobby are... Oh. Oh, dear. What? What is it? Well, Mrs. James, I am little Bobby's father. Bull, then who's his mother? Well, if I remember right, we don't talk about her. Why? I'll take her fares for 500. Would you look at that? We've got a parody squared. Now this is when you write down your answer on the board. Now the question, when Becca goes to work, who does Lee sleep with? Excuse me? 
You have 15 seconds. Go. Time. Let's see those answers. Mabel says, who is his bed? It better be his bed. Well, Mabel, that is incorrect. Becca has reflected her parenting skills and neglected to answer and has instead drew a very vulgar picture of me as a concubine. Fair enough. I rocked that dress better than you ever could anyways. Stephanie has said, who is no one? But that too is incorrect. Ha! Mr. Lee James said the same thing. I think I'm starting to see a pattern here. And now for our surprise guest, Stacy, who said, who is Stephanie? Correct. Though, Stacy, those details weren't necessary. But at least these children are scarred for the rest of their lives. What? Are you kidding me? What even, Stephanie? Hey, would you look at that? You finally learned what question is. Sorry, sis. Stop stealing from me. Woo! Hit her with a chair! How's it stealing when he volunteered? What about Kyle? Can't kiss him when he's in jail. <laughs> I can't breathe. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Come back next episode when we have over a doctor and his patients. Grandma, wake up. Stephanie, you're so dead. <laughs> ah! Mommy, it's dark. Hold me. I'm, I'm coming, coming, honey. She doesn't want you. She said mommy, not woman who dresses up as Harley Quinn to go to the club. You just don't want me to have her. So what if that's true? At least I'm not no thieving tart. Hey, what's that smell? Uh, sorry, that was the bell taco getting to me. No, not that smell. The other smell that smells smelly. Oh, yeah. That smell. I've smelled this before. Uncle Tony calls, calls it sleepy gas. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor.